What prompted Lee County School District to consider Pathlock? Back in 2019, we had an issue where an employee was questioning the integrity of his data. We used the delivered PeopleSoft logs to try to determine what the person's claim was and try to validate it. Unfortunately, with the logs, we are not able to come to a conclusion that the person's claim was valid. Within the next couple of days, we started searching the internet, came across Pathlock, and they had a transaction logging product. So once we purchased that, it offered so much more information that is logged than what Oracle even provides. After transaction logging, what additional features did Lee County adopt from Pathlock? Shortly thereafter, we went to the A360, which is all the analytics in the dashboards um, that came through Elasticsearch at the time and OpenSearch now. There must be 20 delivered dashboards that can tell you everything from performance to the incident transactions of what a person is doing. It shows you who logged on after business hours, who looked at someone else's data from a different department, for example. How many people did a W-4 change? Who did a W-2 change? Who looked at their paycheck or looked at compensation? So with the Oracle delivered logs, that's basically impossible. This is a very seamless experience. How is Lee County using Pathlock's logging and analytics features to simplify threat response? There are many alerts that are delivered with the Pathlock transaction logging A360 product. At this moment, we do a direct deposit uh, report to our payroll department. The email that comes to payroll lists the employee ID, the transaction date, URL, IP address, all kinds of stuff that would allow the person as an employee to say, um, I don't think this actually happened but we can now have a report that shows what you did and the logs do show date, time, location, lots of information. So the alerts that are out there are, they're helping us a lot to analyze the data, not a day-to-day -day basis, but maybe once a week or so, I'll go into the A360 database, looking for types of transactions that people are doing that may look suspicious. Has Lee County used Pathlock's logging to help with any kind of remediation? Yes. When people call up and say that PeopleSoft is slow, it's really nice to be able to go to the A360 dashboard and pull up the performance uh, for the last 15 minutes or so. It usually shows half a second at the most. And if they still are complaining about that, you can still drill into the data and determine, uh, is it a specific user or is it some other thing that's going on in the system. So just the amount of data that's collected and what we can see out of it is just amazing. How does Lee County leverage Pathlock's SAML integration to work with its identity provider? Our IT security team um, wanted to investigate multi-factor authentication. Unfortunately, Oracle did not have a native delivered solution for SSO. We tried uh, for a while to create our own MFA. Unfortunately, that did not work as we had hoped. So already being a customer of Pathlock, we reached out to them as we found out that you guys sell an SSO product. We're able to leverage that with our Microsoft ADFS and come up with conditional access rules that allow people to either get denied access to the system or to allow them access in to see what they're able to see. How is Pathlock performing from a maintenance and ownership standpoint? It's very seamless. I don't even know that it's running half the time. We've done several major upgrades in the past couple of years since we've had it and haven't had any issues at all during the upgrade. On the IT side, it still communicates to the IT SSO server. Um, again, no issues whatsoever. So it helps me out a lot because it's just one less thing I have to worry about.